Okay guys, your PC slash device needs to be repaired. So I'm getting the error message. If you guys are getting the error like this, follow the tutorial and steps in the tutorial to fix the issue. The error code is 0xc and it's something like 0000N1. The shift key and restart. Okay, just wait for a while and then here you go now click on troubleshoot advanced option it's a startup setting click here is a restart click on restart so guys here it is so you have four five six all right you can enable normal safe mode your pc will be in a safe mode since uh, the normal safe mode is in number four so either you have to press the f4 key in your keyboard or directly press number four in your keyboard and to restart your PC and here you go finally your PC is in a safe mode troubleshoot in the troubleshoot again you have advanced option inside advanced option again you need to come back to the command prompt and then you're going to choose command prompt and click on it so now we'll be going on with the third method Thought process you can follow. So, guys, if it asks you for the any kinds of usernames, so you can choose the username, enter the password, and you're gonna see the command prompt. Now, type the commands. So, guys, you have to type all the commands correctly without any spelling mistake. Okay, guys, I hope command is visible, or you can watch it in a full screen. So you can see. Even I've left the command in the pinned post, it's a comment section down below. B O O T R E C dot E X E slash rebuild B C D. And guys, you're gonna press enter key. So this might take some time. Finally, once you're done, you're gonna type the second command. Okay guys, this is the second command you need to type. Boot rec dot exe space slash fix mbr. Click on enter. Okay, now the third command and the last command that you need to type. Boot rec dot exe slash fix boot fix goat press enter key some kinds of access denied so sometime you get the message like this so type all these commands correctly and maybe in your case access is not denied in my case is access denied two commands work successfully third command access denied so anyway you're gonna type all these three commands correctly and then finally you just have to exit it Exit the command prompt, turn off your PC, and then start your PC again. Or just directly, you're gonna restart your computer. You're gonna choose command prompt and click on that. You're gonna choose the user account. So you might be having a multiple number of user in your computer. So you're gonna choose the user. Make sure you have a administrator privilege to the user. Enter the password if you have password for your account and click on continue. And now here you have a command prompt. Okay guys, I hope command is visible. It will locate the bad sector and recover some of the files that is readable so guys you just have to press enter key after you type it correctly now you can see it is going on everything is in process just give some time doing this might take a pretty long time so just give some time Finally, once you're done, 
you're going to press exit so if it asks you for the any kinds of permission in your computer like yes or no you're going to type y for yes and then press enter key so finally it's all done you can exit it and now restart your computer go to troubleshoot the command prompt so in the very beginning we'll type the small commands and press enter key in order to locate where exactly I have my operating system right now. So type B C D E T I T and press enter key. You're gonna see over here. When I move the cursor on the top, it's a Windows boot manage. I do not see any see device. It do not show my drive where exactly I have I have my operating system. And it do not even show the operating systems. Come down. Again, you have a Windows bootloader. Here you're going to see device, partition, Windows uh, C, Windows 11. And here also OS device partition is C. So my operating system is Windows 11 and it is in the C drive. So your might be different from the C. Make a note of it. We need it later. This kind of error occurs because we are missing the boot files. So we are going to create the boot files into the drive where exactly we have our operating system. So whether it is C drive, E drive, G drive, S drive. So whatever is your drive, you are going to replace that particular boot files over there sorry you're going to create that particular boot files over there into your drive where exactly you have the operating system part and press enter key so it's going to take few minutes volume this will show the list of volume that you have in your system. So you have volume 0, 1, 2, and 3. This is C, D. So here volume 2 and 3, you do not have a level over here. So FAT32 something, it's a hidden drive and it's a hidden drive. So a couple of drives you have over here. So we'll select. So let me select volume 2. So this couple of volumes, this is a C drives where I have my operating systems. This is the, you can notice the 19 JB. So I know this is the drive where I was having my different files. And this two couple of drives, 100 MB and 499 MB. This is well exactly so some kinds of uh, system files or recovery. So let me check it. I'll go just uh, since we do not have a assigned letter over here what we're gonna do is at first I'm just going to check this ones volume 2 so I'll select volume 2 volume 2 is a selected volume now next is I'm going to assign letter assign letter equals so different from existing one c and d is ex existing one so i'll give a letter h okay i'll give the letter p enter x part successfully assign the drive letter or mount point now i'll exit from the disk part so volume 2 is now p so for the volume 2, I've given the letter P, like C and D, it is in the P drive now. Exit it. Now let me enter, enter the P drive and let me type DIR. So here we got EFI, but we do not have a boot files. So what we'll do, let me see if we have a boot files over there in the EFI. So we will get inside EFI and then we'll press type DIR. So here we have a boot file. See when you got the Microsoft. So let me change the directory to Microsoft. Uh, 
and let me type dir so here we got for boot files even inside the micro sucked now let me get inside the boot okay now I'll type the very simple commands bcd boot c drive why c drive because I told you in the very beginning in the very first step before I begin with the first step this is the second uh, solution the first solution was where we copied the boot files from the x drive now we are copying the boot files from the p drive so in the very beginning I told you to make a not where exactly you have the broken operating system the existing operating system drive so you're going to use that later in place of C if your is also C you can use C if your is different from C you're going to use that later so do not do exactly what I am using the later drive later over here that is why I told you in the very beginning itself make a note of it where exactly you have your operating systems forward slash L and ENUS EN minus us and hit enter key sorry i made a small mistake bcd boot needs to be together press enter key boot file successfully created So execute this uh, couple of more commands. So boot file successfully created. So we'll execute this couple of more command. So there should not be the space. Boot file successfully created. Now we'll execute one more last commands. So I'm telling you again and again, replace this C with your drive where exactly you have your broken operating systems. I told you, how do you figure out the drive in the very beginning of the video only, where exactly you have your operating system, broken operating systems. And even I told you to make a note of it. So use that particular drive later over here. So boot file successfully created. And click on continue, exit and continue and your Windows 11 or even Windows 10 operating systems must be working fine now. You must get out of the loop. Continue and it needs to be working fine. You must be able to load your operating systems. So this was the few easy ways that you can fix these problems and you can load your operating system so I see it needs to be working now so finally now you can log in into your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC